Now Australia are in trouble as Ricky Ponting comes in and that score of 257 is looking bigger by the minute. This is the flipper that uh, Anil Kumble bowls. This has gone straight through. Steve Roy expected that the ball would pitch and turn. It didn't. He's bowled it quicker, flatter. It's clipped the top of the off stump. And Steve Waugh will be watching once again the replays uh, later tonight. He's got a reputation as a good player of spin bowling. Certainly a good-looking shot of the back foot. He's good in the field as well. He's got a good throwing arm. He's pretty quick through the outfield as that window. He's bowling uh, from the other end, so he probably didn't appreciate uh, this chase. He would have wanted to take a bit of a breather at back to point, but this is a good work uh, of fielding by uh, the young man. He put on an enormous number of runs with Slater and Ponting together. Now they've decided to take the second. 65 for three. Lovely shot placement and another misfield. So what should have been a single with Ponting down on strike is an easy two to Mark War. Well, just the midfielder being a bit tied up and stumbling. Being who's come in at number five because Greg Blewett was injured, hit in the knee by Dravid just before the close of innings for the Indians, was carried from the ground. And uh, a big shout, but it may have been a bit of bat. Big shout from Mongia. That ball probably just going to miss leg. In fact, it actually uh, was a little wrong. And that's more the line, not the right length, though, because that's gone through for four. And uh, Mark War punishes anything that's loose square of the wicket on the offside as well as he does on the leg side. And that's just broken the shackles a little bit for Australia. I don't think the bowler will be too thrilled with uh, the man at point. I think you'll feel that that should have been kept to a single. Ball even bounced up nicely for the point fieldsman, Rajesh Chowan. So just the one over for Chowan. Coming back on now from the Indian oil end. The scoreboard end here. With Australia 80 for three. Ponting on strike. He's on 10. Mark Wall on 32. Aye, and God. a lot of turn and the under edge again for Ricky Ponting. So Chown right on line and good turn for the off spinner. That's the second time Ponting has gone close to the stumps in attempting a cut shot. That one misses leg. Too short on that occasion and uh, Ponting had one practice shot the ball before and it didn't make any mistake with the second one. Quick footwork on that occasion from Ponting see him head back towards leg stump give himself a little bit of room made sure he avoided the fieldsman so what you've got to do if you time the ball well just got to avoid the fieldsman Kumble bowled 13 consecutive overs since lunch and has now been replaced by Raju who comes in from the other end down the pitch and that uh, is over cover he tried to hit it over mid-off and got an outside half edge of the bat and it still got enough on it to run away, but I'm sure the heart was in the mouth for a little while to Mark War. Lovely piece of bowling, encouraged War to leave and he got the outside edge. It's good flight there from Raju. 41 overs. Australia took five for 25 this morning. That man wouldn't have been too pleased this morning, but 
He'll be pretty pleased. And uh, that's an appeal from Corby Hyde. The umpire's given him out. Ricky Ponty appears bemused at the decision. He didn't come forward to the ball. He just was on the crease. And Ricky Ponty obviously believes he went past the outside edge, but a pretty instantaneous appeal by Mongia and as we were in at first slip. Yes, it was a big shout. Ponting sort of half forward and then he stopped coming forward. Seemed to be a deviation. And Ponting has gone for 18. Australia are 95 for four as the players uh, march off the tee with one very unhappy individual heading to the dressing room. Well, as in Chapel said, no runner for Greg Blewett, a very good sign. Sometimes a runner takes your mind off what you're supposed to do. Quite often you see that's him take off for a run with a runner. Oh, you got. <laughs> as we said this morning when Greg Blewett was hit, yesterday he batted, uh, filled it all day with wicket-keeping pads under his cricket creams. This morning we found out that he put them on and then uh, as the Australian team was walking out to take the field, he decided to take them off. So not as many risks can be taken by the batsman. <laughs> Big appeal that. Saro Ganguly at silly point. That behind the pad here of Greg Blewett, flush off the outside part of the leg. We saw Shane Warne get a few deliveries to turn, but not as consistently as the Indian spinners, finger spinners, have been able to do today. And this time he has medalled it. Well, that's what happens to Mark War. A pretty flat six there. Most times you get hit for six, the ball goes a lot higher than that. And that was flat. That's nicely played. He got just the width that he was looking for outside the off stump. This outfield over here uh, a lot slower than it normally is. Hobbling three for Greg Blue. You'll see here, not quite into position perfectly. In the end, though, he was. As he sliced it in front of point. Rajesh Chauhan will continue to bowl from the Indian oil end, but uh, it won't be too long before Anil Kumble is brought back. It is wide of slip. That should go to the boundary. Yes, it has. Sachin Tendulkar making a valiant attempt. And that's a half century. Yet another one for Mark Waugh. Good innings by Mark Waugh. Came in at number three with Blewett injured. And he's played very, very well from the moment he walked to the crease. Just came in at him quite quickly in the end. And he played the aggressive shot. The ball went over the first slip's head. It's his first half century against India. His highest score before this was 34 at Melbourne in 91-92. Yeah. Sachin Tendulkar at uh, backward point. This is not uh, a position he normally stands in. He's normally closing. He does have a very good throwing arm, though, Tendulkar. And it's not something you see very often, but you saw it there. That is a tough one. He didn't use the helmet. He was using the helmet with the wiser when Anil Kumble was bowling. Just a little bit unlucky. He wasn't screaming. He might have lost it. So this might keep uh, Nyan Mongia quiet for a while, flush him to the side of the head. Hopefully he's okay. Hit him just below the ear, I think. 
Still no change in the bowling from the Indian Oil Line. It'll be Rajesh Johan. There will be a change in the commentary box. It's going to be Harsha Bhogle and Keith Stackpole. He's given him. Waited a while, did umpire George Sharp, and then decided that what he saw from uh, Rajesh Chahan was enough to convince him of the LBW. And so Greg Blewett has got to go. Australia lose their fifth wicket, just what the crowd wanted, just what Australia didn't want. So Blewett has gone for nine. It's 119 for five. Ian Healy, the new batsman, and Australia struggling at 5 for 119. Still trailing by 136. This turned a lot. Greg Blewett making the error of playing back. Did play at it. I suppose the top decision was, was he hit in line. Ten wickets have fallen so far. So it really has been a day dominated. And Ian Healy, 101st test match for him. And he's off the mark. Oh, he's got it beautifully, hasn't he? Pick the gap, and that's going to be four. 124 for five. Lovely shot, this. Going with the spin. A little on the short side for the sweep, but picked it up and pinged it away just in front of square. Now he collected the umpire on the way through. There he goes. That'll be the shot that will bring him to 5,000 test runs. It's a huge milestone. The 11th Australian to do it. And gee, I think he deserves a little more applause than that. <laughs> I'll be on the fee fair on the crowds. But up it comes the 5,000. 3250s in there, 1300s still a lot of work to be done. Venkatpati Raju. Oh, that's beautifully played. Mark four innings has got to be started with some good shots. And though that didn't produce four for him, it is such a pretty shot. Well, that is one of the best shots of the day so far. That was a magnificent shot. I think that's the way Bradman used to play at the time. From what you read about it, very late coming down. It was practically in the wicketkeeper's gloves. Yes! Ah, he's got him. That's a classic. Absolute left arm spinner's classic. Squared him up, got the outside edge. Good reflex catch at silly point. You won't see too much better cricket than that. No, and that catch might find itself in the William Grant's comp cat classic catch competition also. But as you mentioned, nice flight on the leg stump. Just came in, got a leading edge there. And good reflex catch there by Ganguly. So Mark Ward, the end of a terrific innings from him. 66, he had to work very hard for those runs off 130 deliveries. And Australia now 137 for six. Paul Rifle is the new batsman in. He's just seen uh, some outstanding left arm spin bowling. Took a ball like that to dismiss Mark Waugh. That was a brilliant delivery there. Mark Waugh just not reading it off the pitch. Just gripped and knew straight away that he was on his way there. Looking to turn it away on the onside. Just spun enough to pick up the edge. Good reflex catch that. Not easy to take off the leading edge. And the disappointment showing on Mark's face there. The Kum to resume to the Australian wicket keeper. And that's a classic little Ian Healy shot. The man at mid-wicket who was in about that spot where it landed. When he first came to the crease, they brought the men in to encourage the Healy shot to mid-wicket. Certainly induced the shot. And on that occasion, he played it pretty well. Well, that's exactly what uh, Healy needs to do to help this Australian cause. If he can spread the field a little bit, then... He's going to help his partner to contribute uh, to this to, or to any revival. Here he goes again. So consecutive boundaries to Ian Healy, just what the doctors ordered. They need to get the deficit down as 
to as little as possible. And India will now make a fielding change. Mohamed Azarudin said two's enough. Well, actually, the bowler is the man who wanted uh, someone pushed back. So Healy has uh, achieved something. So if he can spread that field, then he, he opens up some opportunities for singles. And that'll help uh, Paul Rifle no end. Just like that. So good, intelligent batting by Ian Healy. There is the flourishing beard of uh, Shane Warne. And it's now going to be uh, Rajesh Chauhan at the Indian Oil end. Yes, at the moment uh, in this match, the, the big difference is that opening partnership of 122 for India. Bit of a hesitation by Healy, oh, and the umpire has said not out. I think the ball has gone from the hands. Chowan indicated to the umpire, no, I knocked the stumps off with my hands, so no decision required. It was an awkward throw for the bowler. Healy uh, appeared to be well and truly home, anyhow. Playing pretty well, Paul Rifle, and he's got that away. That may, in fact, go all the way to the boundary. No, it's good footwork. Raju. But three runs to Paul Rifle, doubles his score. But also important for Paul Rifle to be there. And while Ian Healy is playing as well as he is, Rifle's ticking away the moments and the balls that he's at the crease. So should Ian Healy be dismissed, then Rifle will be there with some batting time behind him. And lovely placement. He's going to get two runs here in Hilly, and he put his head over the ball. He knew there was a huge gap, and he didn't try and smash it to the fence. He knew that if he hit it, he's going to get a couple of runs. So six runs from the over, 161 for six. And that's right off the back foot. So he played that pretty well. He got it over Tendulkar at mid-wicket, and away from him, and an easy boundary to the Australians, a poor delivery. Raju might be able to look upon this as the delivery that sets Rifle up. If he can get the, uh, the arm ball in the right spot. Some flight there and it got the outside edge. But enough bat on it to get past Azarud in at first slip comfortably. And just two runs. But lovely piece of flight inducing the front foot drive. And that's what the Indian finger spinners have been trying to do. be the normal uh, off-spin delivery, not the, the over-spinner. Good, sensible cricket. Okay. Ah! No, you can't be given out, uh, Rajesh Johan. Yes, that's an easy one for the umpire, isn't it? Still quite a handy position to be in, but you don't want to squander an opportunity like this. Yeah! What a lovely reflex catch there by Rahul Dravid. We were talking earlier in the over about the necessity of good, quick reflexes in that position at forward short leg. That's exactly what Rahul Dravid has shown. Well, once again, Sonny, that can be a candidate for our William Grant's classic catch competition. The close-in fieldsman will certainly take a part in that, but that is an absolute gem. Throwing out the left hand, grabbing it first go, and Paul Rifle, I think, coming back, having another look to see if it's really happened out there. The good partnership by Rifle and Healy. Rifle out for 15 in Australia now, 173 for 7. Shane Warren has come in to replace Paul Rifle. He bowled quite superbly in the morning. But he's here because Rahul Dravid brought up this tremendous reflex action catch. Warren off the mark of the first delivery is faced. 
Kumbwe picking up his third wicket. A legitimate shot in some ways. It's practically passed him. Put out the left hand. And grabbed it. Could have worked there for Sachin Tendulkar at deep mid-wicket. But he can't stop the batsman going for two. Excellent fighter, Ian Healy. Amazing how uh, when uh, teams tour India, a lot of them tend to forget the razors. This is nicely played. Very, very nicely played by Shane Wong. Well-controlled shot there. Kumbaya a little on the short side. He's going down the leg side, but Shane Warne up on the toe there. You'll find him just on the back foot. Put it away nicely. Didn't try to overhit it. Just virtually guided it around. Very good shot indeed. We get starting to get worn there. Those holes not really deep, just to the left there. You can see where the players face up scratching away with the sprigs that's getting on a little on the deep side the umpire not interested you have to be very very alert the umpires on pitches like this very difficult job umpiring where the ball is turning and the fielders are up in closing positions There he goes for the big one. Will he be out? Anil Kumble circling under it. Nope. He might have just come in a little too much, maybe. And therefore couldn't run back quickly enough to get under it. It's a boundary. That's what you often say. The fieldsmen are out on the deep. The boundary can always come in, but it's very difficult to go back. And Kumble just in the wrong position there. Then, although Shane Warne did hit it extremely well, Good effort at the end. Kept his eye right on it. It's been an amazing day's play. One dominated by the bowlers. To a certain extent, a good fight back by the Australians. Getting up to that 192. But India, of course, losing this morning 5 for 27. So 12 wickets lost today for just something like 219 runs. Ian Healy just catching Venkat Pati Raju napping at uh, extra cover, taking that single. So he will take strike when play resumes tomorrow. It's been a very, very interesting day, a bowler's day. 12 wickets have fallen. Australia finishing the day with 193. Ian Healy is still there with 31. And uh, giving him company is Shane Warne with 13. Well, the Australians managed to work their way up to 7 for 193. They were in a bit of trouble there uh, in the middle. You see, most of the batsmen surviving for a while, but really only Mark War able to uh, keep the scoreboard ticking over as well as survive. He made 66, a very good innings from him. Ian Healy, as he so often does, a terrific contribution when Australia really needed it with 31. And Shane Warne, as he so often does, uh, making uh, an aggressive contribution. And Australia... Uh, working their way up to that score of 257. Havinder Singh picking up a wicket on debut. He was pretty impressive. I thought Javagal Srinath was disappointing for India. Too short, far too often. Anil Kumble, he's had some problems in test cricket lately, but he didn't show them against the Australians. I think he enjoys bowling against them. Three for 64, and uh, Rajesh Chowan with one wicket. And Ben Katapati Raju, a pretty successful comeback for him. Two for 28 from 17 overs, and he got the valuable wicket of Mark War. So the situation, the Australians are 64 behind on the first innings, three wickets in hand, and we look forward to a pretty interesting third day's play. We'll see you for that. This has been a presentation of Nine's Wide World of Sport. Hello and welcome to the third day's play in this test match between Australia and India being played in Chennai. Well, a little overcast uh, just before play started, but the sun came out and once again it's hot and uh, the crowd, well, they're very enthusiastic. Looking forward to a terrific day's play. The Australians start the day at uh, a deficit of 64. Shane Warne and Ian Healy with a very big job to do and... Uh, Healy not out 31 and Warren not out 13. 7 for 193 and it was Anil Kumble 
who'd done most of the damage for the Indian side. Three for 64 from 24. Then Katapati Raju, I thought he bowled pretty well. Two for 28 uh, on his return to Test cricket. OK, we pick up play now. It's in the second over and uh, two runs have been added and it's Anil Kumble bowling to fellow leg spinner Shane Warne. Big appeal, Venkatraj and the umpire not interested. You can never really feel set. The Indians were very excited about it. The umpire wasn't. That's a nice shot. Didn't quite get hold of it. But he saw the fielder was in. There aren't... Uh, any men protecting the boundaries. Avinda Singh there at uh, mid-off got away to a bit of a slow start. Quite often the most difficult uh, catches in the outfield are the ones that are hit straight at the fieldsman. That has bounced and taken the edge and Sachin Tendul could have to run a couple of feet to his right to take that catch. Anil Kumble has struck once more. Well, maybe this was the plan. Mate, just get him to edge one to me. I'll catch it for you. Shane Warne pushing the hands down and that ball just bouncing a little bit, catching high on the bat and a good effort from Tendulkar. Warne has gone for 17, Australia 201 for 8. Kevin Robertson coming into bat for the first time in a test match. And he's uh, there because uh, Shane Warren got a ball that bounced. Took the edge of uh, the bat and lost the first shot. Two slips in position. There's also a silly point in the forward short leg. So four men in close catching positions for Anil Kumble. <laughs> Rank a thousand uh, signal limit to no ball because uh, it was over the shoulders uh, totally unexpected. Over the shoulders. <laughs> I tell you what, that was dangerous on a, a number of counts because it was dangerous for the batsman, probably even more dangerous for Nayan Mongia, the wicketkeeper. And uh, Mongia can laugh about it. I guess he's got the helmet on so he, he can afford to laugh. It's going to be Venkatpati Rajan out to replace uh, Javadal Srinath. Nice little test for Gavin Robertson in his first test match. Too wide, too short, and Gavin Robertson is going to an easy three so he goes from three to six and a touch of frustration for the Indians when uh, number 10 comes in and plays a square cut that nearly goes to the fence and now Chowhan the off spinner coming in to the attack once again the single conceded but the players look for two and good running So two I runs in up the fieldsman. So it was an easy two in the end, but it was the aggression that the Australian players showed. Third bowling change down at the Indian Oil end this morning. Oh, and a big shout, and he's gone back, really, but plenty of turn, and that's what may have saved the Australian wicketkeeper. That looked close by George Sharp. It was probably the spin just going down the leg side. He was back. He was behind the batting crease. A very sharp turn there and a good decision. And he put it in the air. Will it uh, land safely? Yes, it does. Two men out for the sweep shot. And just a single to Ian Healy. So good aggression by Healy, but good bowling. And frustration for India because they induced the loose shot, got the top edge, they all looked around anxiously, 
but the fieldsman was just too deep down there. Didn't quite pick it up either early. Raju. Kevin Robertson uh, knows there's a vacant area over and through mid wicket and does it pretty well. So, didn't get it right in the middle of the bat, but hit it firm enough and well enough to go to the boundary. So, a good four for Australia. Very good cricket by the debutante. It was well pitched up, swung with the spin, no problems whatsoever in putting that way one away for a boundary. Australia goes to drinks, having lost just the one wicket in the hour, that of Shane Warne. And Australia 223 for eight. We've seen that average of 28.7. It's very, very handy. And it just keeps scoring runs. Probably look for a couple here. He is 49 not out. And that'll be the one that will produce his 50. Very, very valuable innings. What a lovely batsman he's been for Australia when the chips are down. Absolutely. You can be pretty certain that uh, when Australia needs runs from Ian Healy, he'll invariably get them. This has been uh, a different innings. He likes to get on with the game. He's uh, an attacking batsman. But here the pitch is such that he has uh, to play a watchful game, and he's done that. Yes, one gets the impression that Ian Healy actually relishes a situation where he has to uh, dig himself in when his team needs the runs. Maybe just relaxing a fraction after getting that half century because he hasn't tried uh, a shot like this at all. It can happen to the best of batsmen. You get to a 50. But the last two wickets for Australia have now added 98 runs. As Raju starts new over. We had a spell from uh, Srinath this morning. Do you think Azur should be looking at the quicker man to try and wrap things up? No cover there. That's four more, so it's not just in singles. Every time the Indian bowlers have pitched short, these two have used the opportunity to pick up more than just one or two. Well, it's given him a little bit of wit, uh, Venkatpati Raju. This was pitched around the off stump, turning away just a little bit. And Gavin Robertson's discovering that uh, just cricket's not a bad place to be in, after all. Four for 72 from 28.2 overs. Actually, these morning sessions have been pretty good for him. He took three yesterday, and he's now 20 not out, and strike to Kumble. That's beautifully played. Bit of extra bounce there from Kumble. In fact, a lot of bounce for Kumble. He got over that so beautifully, did Robertson. And uh, picked the gap beautifully. That's a top shot. You see, he really got on top of it very nicely. Look at that. He had uh, a big gap over there. The ball also is coming on a little bit slower than it did yesterday. So there is the opportunity for the batsmen to adjust their shots. Now Rajesh Chauhan is back. Yes, India over the years has uh, found it difficult to get rid of the last three or four wickets. Often we've found uh, ourselves in a situation where... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that could have been a possible chance. Uh, Azaruddin standing just a little bit wider there. But it would have been a truly fantastic catch. Can't really call it a catch. You can see well away, but uh, that's because Azar was standing wider. That's uh, pretty symbolic of that, isn't it? 49 from uh, 62 minutes. So actually, the runs have come in pretty good time. There's 50 up. What they're also now done is they've come to within six runs of the Indian score. Once they go past that figure of 257, which they look like doing now, it will just be that little element of uh, disappointment, disgust maybe, creeping in. Three and a half will ball from the uh, Indian oil end. France banking ball in his hand. And in the air, so but no problems there because the new ball, with the pace and the hardness of it, has gone to the cover point fence. 
So Australia just goes in front by one run. India 257, Australia 258 for eight. Kevin Robertson bats on leg stump. The bat is actually on the leg stump. But the feet to quite a long way outside leg. I think that's the right place to attack. But it also means that uh, Robertson has a bit of room outside off stump. And he took advantage of that. And what he's done now is reduce the slips by one. And good running by Healy. Again, the same with the one wicket. And that's gone over the top. There's a third man and a point, and it still will beat both of those. More particularly, Sadu is the man that had to lumber after it. So Ian Hilly goes to his highest test score against India. He's gone to 64, and the partnership has gone to be worth 63. I think what happens also, when the captain starts to place uh, fields for bad bowling, he puts a bit of doubt in the bowler's mind. The bowler starts thinking, well... I've I better not bowl bad balls instead of thinking about, uh, well, let's get in there and get some wickets. Ian Healy on strike. Yeah. Good delivery and the old uh, get the foot out of the way and hit it through mid-wicket shot. And he's hit it pretty well. Yeah. And he'll get uh, two runs. Tindug has a very, very good throwing arm. You don't see it very often, but there aren't too many better at running around. And Australia will be boosted by the fact uh, that they've got a lead and this partnership will uh, have the dressing room really on a high. The bowlers will come out uh, feeling good. What the Indian batsmen have got to do is say, well, if Ian Healy and Gavin Robertson can uh, bat without much trouble at all, then there's, there's still got to be a pretty good pitch and there's plenty of runs there for us. Into Singh. Trying to get the breakthrough. And a good running again by the Australians. That completes the uh, over and, uh, in fact, lunch. Some by Venkat taking the bales from the stumps. So India started this morning's session desperate for the three wickets. They had a good lead, and that's been eroded so much so that Australia now lead by 17. Yeah! And just past the outstretched arm of. As we're in at first slip, but a boundary to the Australians. And in fact, it might have been Raul Dravid who's gone to first slip. He's played it very well. He's allowed the ball to come on and then open the face of the bat. Played the cut shot very late. Uppish because uh, Kumble gets the ball to bounce that much more. But I dare say even Mark Taylor would have struggled to get to that. And he's probably the best catcher in the world today. It's going to be a bowling change, uh, Rajesh Chauhan. Just a little bit of a misfield there. And Ian Healy was back for the second. The Australians well aware of the fact that every run they score now means that many less runs to score when they chase India's uh, score in the second innings. Yep. to do a specialist mid on field and certainly not Katarina Vitt in the field. Well, Ian Healy has decided that Chowan is an easier bowler to hit than Kumble and has tried to beat the shackles. So, just a little bit of the outside half of the bat, but still with enough force to get it over Midoff's head or the length of where Midoff is fielding, and an easy four. So that's the highest partnership for the Australians against India. 
for this wicket. Yes, the previous best was 87. This partnership now 90. This is nicely played, nicely placed as well. So they might just about drag it in. Nice smile by Sidhu. No need to drug test Sidhu for his pace across the field. But really does seem to be enjoying his fielding. He knows it's hard work, but he thinks, well, I'm out here for six hours or so, I might as well enjoy it, and that's what he's doing. Nice Indian smile, but not from the bowler, because that was a bad delivery. So a boundary and a three to Healy from the over. He's gone to 88, Robinson on 38. Big shout, the ball turned quite sharply, but umpire sharp not interested. That's the end of Johan's over. He's still wondering what's happening. Australia 294 for eight. Very lucky not to have been bold on this occasion, Gavin Robertson. I, from looking at it with a naked eye, gets his foot across and uh, just makes contact with the pad. Amazing game, this Harsher, isn't it? Here, I think everyone that came to the ground this morning expected the Australian Ings to be wrapped up reasonably quickly. And certainly the talk was, well, we won't need a fifth day. Yeah, now you get the feeling that he will probably be batting on the fifth morning in this innings. He's got a good throwing arm, Kandoka. Heads into the 90s. One of the requirements for fielding the deep is a quick pair of feet and Strong throwing arm, Tendulkar has got both. 95, 135 minutes, that's a good time. Yeah! Really a chance there. So a couple of nice crisp catches taken in there yesterday. And this one, very close again. Not quite there. And he's back a little further in the normal back pad position would normally stand. It's given the buys for just a brief moment. I thought it may have come off something. It looked as though there was some sort of deflection there. I think the umpire gave it buys. Ammonia has gone up in a peer. Nobody else has, which in itself is not an uncommon occurrence. Well, any good umpire will take into consideration the ball is going to pitch outside the leg stump. May have been a little edge on that even, but even if that had hit flush on the pad and the pad was back on the stumps, it was not out. The partnerships there, 122, 56 and 52. But it's 7th, 8th and ninth for Australia that has been the biggest and throughout the smallest as far as India was concerned. And that's probably been the difference between the two sides. There's a top edge and it's taken. So at last, Ian Healy's innings comes to an end. ganguly has got the ball in his hands having completed the catch. Raju takes the wicket. And I'll tell you what, this crowd has been just magnificent. They're standing to applaud a superb innings. There they go, they're all starting to stand up now as Ian Healy makes his way back. There's a very knowledgeable crowd. Ian Healy looking for the sweet shot. That was the ploy of going over the wicket, getting the top edge. Nice catch by Ganguly, but what an innings by Ian Healy. Coming to an end, deserved 100. Australia, 297 for nine. He's in at the fall of Ian Healy's wicket. What a superb innings this man's played. Yes, it certainly was. Looking for the sweep shot. Didn't really go after it. Some bounce there out of the rough, just collecting the top edge. He was keen to look around. He knew he was in danger there. 
and Ganguly picking up a relatively simple catch, but one that India desperately needed. Fine innings from Healy. 104 run partnership between he and Gavin Robertson. Good piece of fielding. The fielding has been pretty good. With, certainly hasn't been too many sloppy periods for the Indians, even though they were pretty frustrated and flustered before lunch today. And just have to wait the umpire's decision there. May well have come off the thigh pad, or the back thigh of Gavin Robertson. It did, so just a single for Australia. 2.99. So I hope the Australians with this last wicket come positive, that they keep on going with the momentum has been in this innings. Good shot from Kasparic, getting past Timbuk to recover. A rank long hop and he got enough on to get to the boundary, he has. So, a good shot from Kasparic, he gets off the mark in India with a boundary. And the 300 up for Australia. Australia go to 303 for 9. India being bowled out for 257. And that's that positive cricket that I think all Australians were hoping that would continue. Nice shot then from Kasparovic. Short, he's back, punished it away. And that man there, Anil Kumble, would like to put his feet up as quickly as possible. He's about to bowl his 43rd over. And the sweet shot should go for four. So first ball after drinks as Sonny Gavaskar moves in is a boundary well they will have uh, had plenty of time to talk about what to do uh, while they were aboard or around uh, the space shuttle and that would have been to try and continue to bowl uh, into the bowlers rough excepting this time uh, it's been swept away by Gavin Robertson for a boundary and uh, Mongir feels that uh, no problems for the umpire making that decision He's giving the ball a bit of air now, uh, Anil Kumble. The challenge bowling figures are indicating what Sonny has been saying. 23 overs for 89 on a pitch that is giving a reasonable amount of assistance to the bowlers, the spin bowlers. Still a pretty good pitch. It appears to be from up here, but the old one bouncing and turning. So one would expect a finger spinner not to have the runs per over stats that Challenge has. And another boundary to the Australians. So Gavin Robinson brings up his 50 with a boundary to cover point. His first test match, four wickets in the first innings, and a half century, and Australia goes to 314. And what a terrific innings uh, this has been. Applause there from his teammates, applause there from the crowd. Gavin Robinson has a smile on his face. He's played very well, played with great determination pick the right balls to score off he's shown great application ah! and good piece of work by Mongi. in fact umpire Venkat has called for the third umpire but there aren't too many Indian fields from walking away so it didn't appear as though Kasparic had lifted his back foot well, Tendulkar must have asked him to go around the wicket that's what uh, Raju has done toss the ball up in the air and Ma Michael Kasparovic his foot is safely grounded. It's a nice shot. Got a couple of runs to Tendulkar. Ball runs across the pre-match practice pitches. Soon after about to begin his 17th over. He has the figures of none for 36. And again, the reverse swing, but... The full toss hit pretty well off the pads and another four to take Robertson to 56. So 322 Australia has gone to. The attempted Yorker again, too full. Yes, this time uh, Robertson seemed to be prepared for it. The first one took him by surprise. This time he's shuffling in. Just a little too full that uh, attempted Yorker. Easy pickings for Robertson. And very good delivery, but to the outside edge, uh, fortunate for the Australians, and another boundary as the ball and Sidhu go over the rope. 
It is a frustrating time indeed uh, for uh, the Indian team and particularly if you're an opening batsman you're not going to enjoy what's going to happen now. The edge going finer which means a lot of work there for the opening batsman now Jyotin Sidhu running to his left and diving getting himself dirty maybe just a little bit of a problem with the shoulders edged and well taken Mongia diving forward so finally the outswing from Srinath uh, brings about the end of an Australian innings that has turned out to be a good one and it finishes Gavin Robertson's uh, defiance a terrific half century from the test debutant yes a fabulous effort by Gavin Robertson as Ian mentioned great debut four wickets with the ball catch and now a very important half century for Australia not the Knights Krishna certainly wouldn't mind coming from the same region as uh, Shahid Afridi, I'm sure. Over. Oh, that's a good bouncer. That is a... Things are extended until July 31. Phone Ticketmaster on 11 500. All the way, when he realised it was going to be too high to just uh, fend off, he started to fend it off and then realised that the ball was going to be too high and he was quick to get under it. But the ball before, which was also a short one, not a bouncer. Pharmaceutical treatment available. On Good Medicine, regrowing your hair. It's completely filled in. What's Mr Bean doing at the dentist? And So many times he helps Australia out, whether it be with the uh, gloves or with the bat. Today it was with the bat. Unfortunately, he was out 10 runs short of being the first ever Australian keeper to make four test centuries. But he'll be happy with 90 and that marvellous partnership of 96 between Healy and Gavin Robertson. What a debut for the young man from New South Wales. 57, last man out with a total at 328. An amazing a lead of 71 after it looks like they would uh, have quite a deficit. For the Indians, Anil Kumble was tireless with 45 overs, 4 for 103. Ben Katapati Raju, 3 for 54. But Rajesh Chowan, the off-spinner, disappointing. 25 overs, 1 for 90, and his length varied too much.